We are headed off to the airport. I start another three-day trip today. So it's a three-day trip, but it's a really good, clean trip. It's just two legs each day. So today we're going Austin to Burbank, Burbank to San Francisco. Um, and then the next two days are also just two legs each. They're, I got some long hauls in there, which is nice um, because it's really good pay um, on a long haul flight like that. So you want to be in the air more than you want to be on the ground yeah. when you're flying. So it's a productive trip and he only has six legs, but it pays good. Yeah, it does. So I'm excited. It is an Austin trip, so I don't have to commute. So that is also a plus. I'm also the A position. So I'm at the front of the aircraft. I'm making all the announcements, um, which is the position that I actually really enjoy. So I'm glad I got this one. So I am flying with two flight attendants that I've never flown with before, but that's usually the name of the game in this industry. Um, but everyone here in Austin is great. So I'm sure it'll be fine. And from me working on the ground here in Austin, chances are I've seen them, talked to them, met them before. So that's been really interesting flying out of Austin is I'll get on the plane with these flight attendants and they are like, weren't you on the ground here in Austin or how do I know you? Or I know your husband cause Ryan is based here. So it, it's nice that I'm not necessarily going into it completely cold. Uh, a lot of these people at least do know who I am. So that's nice. It makes for a good trip. Yeah. So we're pulling up to the airport now. Uh, I have to be checked in in about 10 minutes. So we're gonna get up to the terminal. I'll go through security and then off to my gate. And just like that, this day is done. So today was a really good and productive day. Two legs, Austin, Burbank, Burbank, San Francisco. And we are here, we have about a 15 hour layover here in San Francisco. It's late right now, so obviously not gonna do anything tonight, but I love this hotel because if you walk just right across the street, there's a really good viewing area of the final approach into San Francisco. So tomorrow what I'll do is I'll take me a cup of coffee and walk out there and just watch the planes land because I'm a huge nerd and love doing that. Um, I've been at this hotel before, you've seen it before. Um, so yeah, we have a nice, nice little layover. It was a very busy day, even though it was only two legs. Both of them were completely full. The second flight, we had to end up checking bags and, um, Oh, the first flight from Austin to Burbank. About halfway through the flight, I get a call from the back galley and she's like, Hey, can you turn on the lights? I think we have some throw up that we have to clean up in the aisle. So I turned on the lights, threw on some gloves and got a trash bag. And there was a little bit of throw up from a kid who had too much hot chocolate. And, um, so we, we got that taken care of. The parents of course helped clean that up. And then not five minutes later, we have someone else run to the galley and say, can I have a trash bag? My kid's about to be sick. A totally different kid. So one flight, two kids getting sick, and it's just, it was, 
We were all really happy that this day came to a close. It was just a long day. We worked our butts off on these legs. And this last one, we were only in the air for an hour. We ended up busting out a full service, full plane, 143 seats, 143 people on the plane, full service. It was quick. And because San Francisco for us is not a provisioning station, so we don't have crew here that restock our galleys, at San Francisco, we have to get all of our stock from the back stock. Well, on the 737-700 aircrafts, there's no back stock in the forward galley. So I have to write down a shopping list, essentially, go to the back galley, gather up everything I need for the forward galley, put it all into like a trash bag, carry it up front, and then restock my galley. So in an hour flight, we did full service, snacks, restocked galleys, cleaned up, set down. It was busy. It was very, very fast. Um, but the day's done. Tomorrow we do two legs. We do San Francisco, Los Angeles, Los Angeles all the way over to Kansas City. So that's going to do it for tonight. Tomorrow I will go out and watch some planes and take you along with me. So I will see you guys. Good morning from San Francisco. Well, it's not morning. I think it just hit noon and I still have my room completely blacked out. Just watching some TV and enjoying a relaxing start of the day considering how crazy yesterday was i had plans of walking across the street and watching planes today but i'm actually facing the runway so i opened up my window a little bit ago and watched a couple of wide body planes land i just want to chill yesterday was crazy i i really do just want to chill um so today we have two legs again so we're going to san francisco down to la and then LA all the way over to Kansas City. That was a long one. I think that's gonna be like a three and a half hour flight. Um, and then we have a decent long layover again in Kansas City. So I've already had one cup of coffee. I'm probably about to make my second. I do need to get up and get my ironing done. Um, I'm probably going to put some chicken and veggies in my hot logic and let that heat up. It takes usually about an hour to get like a really nice warm temperature. Um, so I can let that cook while I'm ironing. Then after that, it's time to shower and get ready for lobby. So we lobby at 3 o'clock. So I need to be downstairs by like 2.45 just to be safe. And they also have a really good coffee bar downstairs. So I'll probably pick up like a real cup of coffee downstairs. The hotel room coffee is always hit or miss. But I will say that the coffee in the room here is coffee bean tea leaf. And it's really good. Um, but I think there's a, um, a really nice coffee bar downstairs that they usually have set up complimentary for us. So I'm definitely going to get some more coffee on the way to the airport. But other than that, I'm just chilling. I'm just being a slam clicker and holding up in my room. It's dark. It's kind of cool in here. And yeah, I'm just enjoying it. So I'm going to put that second cup of coffee into brew now. And then I'm going to start my ironing. And we are dressed and ready. So I need to be downstairs for lobby in about 15 minutes. But I usually leave about 10 minutes early from the room because I always stop by the ice machine to ice my food bag down. Everything is packed up. I just finished packing up my food bag. Um, all that's left to do is put ice in my ice containers and throw those into the food bag. Other than that, I'm ready to get this day started and done with. It's going to be a good day. I do believe we are full all day today, though. I will need to recheck those numbers, but I think we are full. Um, so that's going to make for a busy day. So our first leg down to LA, only about an hour flight. So it's going to kind of be like last night, quick service, snacks, drinks, restock galley. Actually, I don't have to restock my galley because Los Angeles is a base. So they have full provisioning there. So I don't need to restock my galley. So that is a plus. Then our flight from Los Angeles to Kansas City, it's a long one, but also Kansas City, they have provisioning and it's a terminating flight. So that means we don't have to A, clean the plane and B, I don't need to restock my galley on that one either. So that is at least a silver lining to the day. <sighs> but let's go start this day. Services done, trash is done. I just 
takes me a cup of coffee. I'm gonna sit down, have my coffee, have a little snack, and just chill. We have about an hour and a half left in the air, so every, I don't know, 20 minutes, I'll go through and do trash, see if anyone needs anything else, but other than that, we're just chilling. And we made it finally so even though it was our shortest day so far on the trip it was a long one but it's okay it was a good day it was a good day oh my gosh I cannot make this up yesterday I told you that we had two pukers on one flight we had another one tonight it was wild like what is going on <sighs> so frustrating but we got it handled as a crew it was great it was fine. It was fine. We we handled it well. So um, we'll do a quick little room tour because I do love these rooms here at this hotel. And we're on the very top floor and it has vaulted ceilings so the room feels much bigger than what it really is. So let's do a little room tour real quick. So we were planning on running down to the restaurant when we got here and ordering some chicken wings, maybe get a glass of wine, but we ended up arriving about 45 minutes delayed into Kansas City and then had to wait a few minutes on the hotel van. So we made it literally five minutes after the restaurant closed, but that's okay. Their wings here are phenomenal. So I try to get them every time I'm here. So maybe I'll get them for lunch tomorrow. We don't lobby until like 2.30 tomorrow in the afternoon. So I might run down and get me some wings for lunch tomorrow because they are really good. So for tonight, I'll eat out of my food bag, but for First, I'm gonna get out of the uniform and into some comfy clothes. Good morning from a very chilly and snowy Kansas City, Missouri. It is go home day. I'm very excited. We have two very long legs today. We're doing Kansas City over to Las Vegas and then Las Vegas down to Austin. I have the heat pumping in this room. I looked out the window a couple times and it is really coming down out there. It is quite snowy. I looked on our trip sheet and right now we're about 30 minutes delayed out of Kansas City. I'm really hoping that holds and doesn't get further delayed because of the weather. We'll probably be okay, but um, yeah, two legs today. Both of them are long, whereas the past two days we've had one short leg, one long leg. Today they're both kind of long. So this is our longest day of the trip, but that's fine. It's go home day and that thrills me. So I'm just laying in bed watching some TV. I've already had one cup of coffee, probably gonna have a second. Um, we have to lobby today at 2.40. So I'll be downstairs by like 2.30. Um, so I'll start getting showered and everything around one o'clock. So I got a little bit of time left, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to relax and not think about work for a little bit. snowing on our way out of Kansas City. It was a very rough ride for about the first 45 minutes. Then finally the captain calls us and said, you have literally 40 minutes of smooth air to bang your service out and then clean it up and sit back down for the rest of the flight. So we finished service, 
finished doing our first round of trash. And then the B flight attendant made an announcement saying, we got to sit down for the rest of the flight. So toss your drinks back. We have to pick everything back up. So now we have about an hour and 15 minutes left in flight of just sitting in the jump seat. So it's been eventful, that's for sure. All right, I just made it back to Austin. I know I haven't come on the vlog since getting ready and leaving the hotel, but this has been <laughs> the craziest day. So we fly from Kansas City to Vegas. We were only like 15 or 20 minutes delayed out of Kansas City. As soon as we land in Las Vegas, they tell us, hey, you're unfortunately delayed an hour out of Las Vegas because they were trying to throttle traffic into the Texas area because of high winds. So we had about an hour and a half worth of ground time in Las Vegas. So we board up, push back, get on our way. And then, I don't know, maybe when we're starting our initial descent, we get a call saying that the Austin airport has completely shut down. They're not allowing any traffic in or out and planes are starting to divert to San Antonio. Well, one of my friends who's a flight attendant, she's messaging me saying that her husband got diverted to San Antonio and all of these planes were getting diverted to San Antonio. So we thought, well, we're either gonna divert to San Antonio or we're gonna hold out. Luckily we had plenty of fuel, so we ended up circling for about an hour and a half. Come to find out, when we finally landed Austin, which by the way, was the roughest, roughest turbulence landing I have ever experienced. We were rocking and rolling to the point where people were clapping when we landed. But come to find out, we almost diverted to Midland because San Antonio had accepted way too many aircrafts and um, there was no room for us. So if we weren't able to land in Austin, we were going to be diverting up to Midland. But long story long, made it home safe and sound. I'm ready to sleep. Yes, I was <laughs> ready to come get him in San Antonio and pick his butt up. But that was thank a plan. goodness. I didn't have to activate that and yeah. yeah so I just came to get you but I've been watching his flight yeah pattern and on flight aware and yeah not it was fun. rough so actually what I'm gonna do right now is insert the flight radar um, mapping of our flight so you can kind of see what we did so here that is right now So that is going to do it for this vlog. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. While you're here, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified every time we put out a new video. If you are not new here, thank you for coming on back. From myself, Ryan, and Norman, have a good evening.